what's going on on this beautiful late night, y'all? It's a kale episode. I definitely am not recording this because I know I'm going to have a lot of editing for the last episode. But yes, to, why are we in Castelia City again? It's like almost like we literally were just here. Well, um, your boy realized that there was some stuff I needed to take care of. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I realized that we have these dancers, guys, that I've literally talked about like three different times that I've never taken care of. So... We're going to take care of them today because they give you a special, special item that we are going to see today. Uh, so like I said, I'm super excited, super excited today. Uh, but I have to do a team recap because it is, in fact, a kill episode one third day. So we are going to start out with our boy, Glyba Boy, level 27 with Stone Edge Smack Down, Water Gun and Stealth Rock. We have the Dacon, the Sassy Dacon, with Levitate as an ability, Force Palm, Sludge Wave, Poison Fang, Toxic. We then have Doily with the Hydration ability, Storm Throw, Close Combat, Fusion Bolt, and Guillotine. We then have Troy with Sculpt Lens, Poison Heal, Dragon Dance, V Create, Up with Tail, and Spatial Rend. Let's go to the next mod, Brittany the Melodic. With the mild nature, surf, swift, aqua jet, fly. And then we have helmet. Gotta protect yourself. With low sleep detect, power whip, and brick break. With the naughty boy nature. So, if you want to be a naughty boy, it's fine. You know, there, there's definitely opportunities for that in the world. But yes, we're going to take on the dancers today. Speaking of opportunities to be naughty boys. Um, and yeah, so I am definitely hyped for today and just kind of trying to figure out how I want to deal with today because y'all are killing a Pokemon. Now, I do have to be pretty sp sp specific about timing. This episode will be going up Sunday at 3 p.m. I think? Or no, 2.30 p.m. Excuse me. 2.30 p.m. Um, so you all have, and I apologize, till Monday at noon. I, I know. That's not a lot of time to vote for who you gotta die. But it is enough time. It, I figure like that's like almost 24 hours. I gotta get this stuff recorded because my break is over. I know my break's over. I'm a little bit sad about it. But my break is done. So now I do have to make sure that I get this content pre-recorded and situated at least a week in advance. I've been loving being on time with y'all and hanging out, but unfortunately, we cannot do that no more. Um, the only time we have to hang out is during live streams, which we have not been doing and we probably won't do much of. And I, I know it's kind of sad, but it is the way it is because it is the way it is. And that's the wrong direction. But yes, so honestly, I've been having a lot of fun as of late. Also, have I just... What? It's this one. There it is. I was like, I swear. Where's the back alley? Well, the back alley is where the second dancer is that we get to talk to. Yes, let's have a battle. But yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to take care of this and our two encounters that we have in the Relic Castle. And that's the Zapdos. The Relic Castle and the, the, the desert area. Um is what we get to fantabulously take care of. Ah. Oh, we gotta send out Troy. Actually, Troy resists uh, the electric. Does not resist the flying, but that's fine. It's Troy. Zapdos is actually the only Pokemon to have claimed kills in Soul Link. So, it would only make sense that it's the first Pokemon to claim kills in this game. Um, actually, that is a false statement. We lost Patrat John. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but Trat did die uh, to Brittany, but it'll be the first enemy Pokemon to claim uh, kill. Um, can somebody explain why they did absolutely no damage? That sucked. Like that did really bad. Like that should have been, that should have done way better than it did. Like, what now?
This is the first time I am using Dragon Dance. And it's on a trainer that I should not at all have an issue with. That scares me. That scares me a lot. Considering what has been gone through and what's going on at the current moment. That's bad. At you crit it this time. You know what? I can't be that mad. You, you did You did end up eventually getting the crit. It's just... You know, he just wanted to scare me, I guess, is what happened. Right? Troy just wanted to give me a bit of a scare. I'm coming back to work. Troy, uh, I, I feel like Troy would do that, though. Like, Troy would totally, like, mess with me. I should watch out for that little boy. I just call Troy a little boy. You know what? It's fine. Troy's a 27-year-old grown man. But... He's definitely gonna. He's. I gotta be on the lookout. <laughs> I I know better than to just go to work and be totally like, not expecting him to mess with me, cause we that is like our relationship in a nutshell. It is very playful, and we mess with each other in in all of the ways that two people mess with each other, um, except for one, which we'll get there. It's fine. But, yeah, it's kind of, a, I, I, yeah, I need to be ready. Y'all gonna yell at me and tell me that I need to actually get prepared to get messed with. I should just not be leading with Kaiba Boy. I, understandable, I get it. I just was hoping that, you know, Kaiba Boy would actually prove his worth. And he didn't. My apologies. So, but yeah, no, Troy's totally gonna mess with me. Like, I, I just gotta know how, right? Is it just gonna be like, is he gonna mess with me in the fact that like, it's like, oh, have you like, just like a playful, like a little nudge? You haven't been here for a while, haha. Ha. Or is it gonna be like a, like a full blown like, mess with me by not talking to me at all? For the entire day, even though I ask him questions. Just purposefully ignore me because he knows I don't like it. Oh. He's sinister enough to do it, too. Oh, my God. If that actually... Be prepared, everybody and anybody. Be prepared for Tuesday. Point blank. Get yourselves ready. Because it will be a day on Tuesday. Um, only on Tuesday will it be a day, by the way. Because that... Like, any any playful, like, joke or anything. Especially with him. Only lasts about 24 hours. Um, and then he feels bad. Which is honestly warmed my heart. Um, because I'm like, oh, like, you care. Well, duh. <laughs> I say, I say that like I don't have... I mean... Other than y'all... And... Some of my friends, that's like not an untrue statement. But we won't get into the sadness of what I just admitted. So... <laughs> no, I just, it warms my heart when I'm teaching just like feels bad because he messed with me too much it's like but you didn't i i take it i take it lightly i take it with a grain of salt because i know you're joking like and that is something that actually i can talk about because i love poking and prodding and joking around and being flirtatious and just being that person right just to be playful mess around don't like like, just know that it's a playful banter. And, like, in most cases, obviously. Like, I'm not going to be, like, I'm not going to flirt with you. This is so weird to talk about, but, like. If I like you in that manner, I am going to playfully flirt with you. There we go. Um, Will I flirt in other circumstances, too? Yes, if you're my friend. 
I, I will literally mess up, mess with you and flirt with you, like, to completely mess around. Unless I know you are taken. Because if I know you're taken, then I won't do that stuff. Because there's no reason. Because I do not want to create any tension or anything else. Like, if you're single, then, like, and I don't know you're together with somebody, th th be prepared. Because I will mess with you. And I will make those jokes that nobody thinks I will make. Because I'm such a timid person that doesn't... I'm so innocent and, like, don't have anything. Like, yeah, I'm innocent when it comes to the female front. Mic drop. So, <laughs> like, it was actually funny. So, Joy actually really... <laughs> we're going here. We're going here. This train is not stopping. Um, but Joy released episode 10 of her, um, Pony Pop series. And you can't watch it unless you're 18 or above because Joy is responsible as a human being. Um, so yeah, so you can't watch it unless you're 18 or above. So yeah, anyways, so they were talking, I, I, I need to outsource. They were, they were talking about a shoe and I'm not going to tell you the context. So that way it's not weird and like even more weird i guess and i was like what does that even mean how is that even supposed to be like the only thing i can think of is like big feet big but like that doesn't make sense in the context of what i was what we were given so it couldn't be that and so i was just sitting there like what is going on and this is where my innocence gets me because i'm just like no, that's definitely not what was said or what the attempt was. And I just was like, nope. And I'm like, I'm okay with my innocence right here. Like, if there's a spot of innocence that I have, it's, it is it is in that category. And Hoonie Pop is definitely a specific category. But yeah, it is in that category of things. Like, I, I, I still am... Oh, there's a saying for it. I don't remember the saying, so moving on. Um, I still have the V word intact. There we go. And because of that, um, that whole realm has not been discovered. And I do not mind that at all because I prefer emotional connections over physical ones. So... It's just like, whatever, fine, we're cool, we're chill, we're gonna get it figured out. Um, but yes, I, I really, I do, I do mess with you guys. Like, I will mess with you. Like, that is how I roll. That is, if without that, like, like, what, what would I be doing without messing with people and just being like, I thought you guys gave me an item. Okay, I guess you know. But yes. It is funny when I can just, like, do that. And I enjoy it. Dude. But yes. What are you guys... What kind of jokes do you guys like pulling off? Like, are you more of the dad jokes? Are you more into the riddles? Because riddles are fun and they can be considered a joke too. Are you more of the flirtatious, like, mess with you and poke and prod? Or are you more of just, oh my god, I didn't switch out Kaiba Boy, and now we have a hop up on our screen. Like, uh, yeah, no, I just, I want to know, because it is interesting to learn how people joke around, and what people feel comfortable joking around about. Because that is also important. Like, you can't just jo have a joking style that somebody else isn't comfortable with, right? Because then it's not fun, right? Like, it is fun to see people be unsettled. But if they tell you no, then that's no. Don't do that. But like, if you're gonna be uns if they're gonna be unsettled and be like, oh my gosh, or like embarrassed, that's like some of the best is when you can make a joke, and you can just see the embarrassed, the like the embarrassingly blushing. That is a good way to put it. Like embarrassing, uh, embarrassingly blushing, where like they actually like feel good that you're joking around with them, and that manner in that respect but also they're like this is this is weird 
Like it's it, it is it is a fun mannerism to get. So honestly, we're talking about joking the entire episode, and I'm like, I, it makes sense though, because I come from a family that does joke a lot, like, but not in the way that I joke. I literally have to refrain myself, um, because I'm different and have completely different thought processes and all that stuff. Um, but it is fun to watch just the entirety of the what's happening and why, why, the who, what, when, where, why, how moment. Also, our encounter. <laughs> is it a bomba snow? I will take it. It is a W in my book. Um, it's another grass type, though. That is the biggest worry that I have is the typing. I'm going to toxic it, though. Because it will just go right to the PC. So it makes sense to toxic it. So, and it just got a grass whistle too. So, But again, with it being a grass type, I cannot switch in to our boy Kaiba Boy. So we are running into all of the grass types when you tried to use Kaiba Boy. I have a ton of Pokeballs. I don't think I'm going to need to buy Pokeballs for much of the series anymore. Like, yeah, I got a lot of encounters. But also, like, do I really need 800 different Pokeballs? To catch all these Pokemon. I mean, maybe. I'm not gonna discount it, but like Pokeballs are needed in most cases, obviously, to catch Pokemon. Um, also it's a female bomb still, so what do I want to name it? Oh, I have a name for you actually. Um, I actually do have a name for you. Uh, oh my gosh, like what? I actually have a name for a Pokemon. Also, that's gonna do a lot of chip. The amount of the amount you're getting chipped down is not very helpful. I do not like that. Get into this heal ball. Feel comfort. Nope. I've got one more opportunity because I toxic. Feel comfortable in this amazing great ball just for you. Got it. Merry. Like, Merry Christmas, everyone. Or Happy Holidays, or whatever you say. I know it's not Christmas time, and I know it's literally way past that, but it's an abominable snowman. I almost wanted to call it Frosty. If it was a male, I would have named it Frosty. Honestly, like, I didn't partake in many Christmas movies. Although this Christmas was insanity. To all of the degrees. So it does make sense. I it, This Christmas was... Ugh, I talked about it. So you already knew by my voice. Like, you can probably tell the massive difference that I have in my voice right now. Like, it's a little bit more nasally. Ugh, we don't have anything that actually benefits from that right now. We might later. But yeah, like, you can probably tell the extreme massive difference that is in my voice right now. And to that I say, thank goodness that it's over. I can go places. I can do things. It is very helpful. That's like a Celia card. We got, that's the second one we've had, actually. And I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. Because I really needed better items than what I've been giving. And what I've been... The better hand than I've been given. A pearl. That's, ba that's a better hand than I've been given. And that's, that's good, too. We'll take that. Okay. I literally asked and received in the same two seconds. Wait, what? Is this part of Early Castle that I've never been in? Oh, my God. It is. I have never been on this side of Early Castle before. And that is a Whirlipede. I like Whirlipede. Whirlipede is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, no, it's not. Um, Scolipede I like in competitive, though. So, yes. I do like my Scolipede there. And that does nothing. Perfect. And that in does nothing in retaliation. So I can Poison Fang it and be fine. Cool. Because that won't kill. And that, now you're frozen. Good. Nice. And I'm not going to take... Actually, I will. I will take that chance. 
We got, we got, we should have the Whirlipede. And, I mean, because in Whirlipede, I don't know what level Whirlipede evolves, but does it, I think it evolves pretty early, doesn't it? Like 30? What level does Whirlipede evolve? Whirlipede is the middle evolution in the series of centipede-like Pokemon, evolving from Venipede at level 22, then into Scolipede at level 30. Yes! Uh, I know my stuff. You cannot question me. I'm joking. I don't know all my stuff. That is just one that I did know because I needed to prove that I actually like Scolipede. And that was the proof in the pudding right there, flat out, on the table, Rolled up like you do with dough. Not rolled up. Ro laid out like you do with dough. <laughs> Boom. Bam. Got it. <laughs> I am naming you. You are a male. I am naming you. I'm naming you Red. Because Scolipede is red. <laughs> and Red is also a name for Intrepid. Who is amazing and we adore Intrepid. So because of that, we have a Pokemon called Red. Do, 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 do. Oh, Floatstone. I don't even remember what that does. I'm not even going to front. I literally have no clue what that does or what I'm supposed to do with that. Isn't that like something that like halves my weight, I think? So like I don't get hit by as hard by like Giga Impact. Or not Giga Impact. Um... Not Giga Impact. What is the, what is the move? Gu not Gyro Ball. Oh my god, this is triggering that I don't remember. Oh my gosh. What moves attack you based off of your weight? Um, Gyro Ball is based off of speed. Heavy Slam. There we go. And moves like that. So it's like a subcategory of moves is what that is focused upon. And so with it being focused on a subcategory of moves, it really is not utilized very well. Unless you're talking about maybe a... Like an Agron or something like that. But even then, it's not even that utilized. Like, honestly, a Floatstone's kind of oof. Imagine if a Flowstone evolved a Bweasel, though. Like, that would be interesting. So, speaking of a Flowstone evolving a Bweasel, Bweasel um, let's go get more encounters. Because we have two more encounters to get. And I am curious to see whether or not we are going to do something good with them. I believe in us. Can you give me the item now? Maybe you give it to me later in the game after I do all the stuff? That would make sense. It really would. So, like, I wouldn't put it past this game to do that. I really wish I had the Salamence. I, I really do. Salamence would have been such a godly Pokemon. But, alas, we do not have it. And we need to get encounters. Buddy, move out of the way. Thank you. Hi, Sharon. Come over here. Elisa called and was asking me about electric type Pokemon, and I thought you guys, I thought of you guys, that's why I wanted to give you all freebies. Here's some Ultra Balls. Have a fun time with them. Thank you. I appreciate those. Although now I have to scroll another whole page in order to get them. And I know you're going to give us a joy some Ultra Balls, but. I almost did it! I almost made the joke! I almost made the joke and proved my point even further. But the fact that I made a semblance in a, or a semblance, the fact that I made a move towards making that joke just proves my point. Oh my gosh, I don't care. I'm speeding up that. I know I didn't really need to because like the whole point of having fast sex on is so that I can just speed through that, but Oh my god, stop with the freaking grass types. I literally, I literally sent in Kaiba Boy so that that wouldn't happen, but no, no. 
Nope. Dakon is going to be the star of today's episode, y'all. I don't like that fact at all. Because I know what will happen if that continues. Uh, no. Okay. That Look at that. Kaiba boy, you can come in on something. Good job, Kaiba boy. You did it. You did good. You are good boy. Uh, you actually were able to freaking fight. This time he on Cloud 9 knowing he's going to die. That's sad. Imagine being on Cloud 9, like, on your deathbed, just on Cloud 9. Just being like, yep, nope, I know I'm going to die, and I'm accepting the fact, and I'm very happy about it. Like, whew, I would be really sad if that was the case. If, like, if I even just saw that be uh, the case. Blah, 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 here's the bike. Thank you, buddy. I don't really care, but as long as you care, I have to care. <laughs> that is, like, such a sad statement. Yo, codename. The professor told me that Nimbasa City has a lot of things to do. Big stadium, small court, battle subway. There's even a Pokemon musical. It's They're going to play... Insert Joy's favorite musical here. Um... I feel like I'm going to ask her, and Joy's going to be like, why are you asking me this question? Like, she'll kind of know why I asked her the question, because she's smart. But also, and I'll be like, what would you say in Saga Lock, John? Is what it'll be. What did you say in Saga Lock? Oh, no. Because she knows that Saga Lock is the only... That was dumb of me. She knows that Saga Lock is the only thing that I would reference that to. <laughs> like, she really does. Like, she is a smart cookie. And will pick up on that instantaneously. But, you know, let's pretend for a minute that that's not the case. So I don't get stressed and worried about literally nothing other than getting to know her better. Like... Oh no, so inconvenient for you to ask your friend a question that is an interesting, that that has a p interesting answer. Considering that you are in music and you were in music for literally nine years, it would be cool to see what your friend's favorite musical would be. Boom. Okay. It's Nick. I might as well ask Nick the question too. What's if Nick? If Nick wouldn't know. I don't think Nick would know. Which would actually make that a funny question to ask. Nick, what's your favorite musical? Why are you asking me that? Okay, fine. It's it, it, it's it, it's okay, Nick. We don't we don't have to answer the question. <laughs> like, I don't know. Nick might actually have like an eloquent taste in musicals. Like you, I, that's why you ask your friends questions to generate a conversation. Um. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. Also, speaking of musicals and music, um, Jonas has actually gotten me into the Newfangled 4. Um, I think if that's the name. I Like, or I should say, Jonas showed me the Newfangled 4. And honestly, it's been fun to see, like, the perspective. It's been fun to see Jonas's perspective on music and what he likes and seeing what he can pick up on because I'm trying to teach him music and like I have music theory books for him um regardless if it's a want and a like it or not you, you're gonna learn music theory even if it <laughs> is the bane of my existence um I personally think that that is important I know a lot of people would tell me like or would say otherwise that it's not really important because it's not the, the things that they did back then don't matter now. But, like, I feel like, again, we get taught history so we don't repeat it. So, it would be good to know, hey, this is the situation. I am getting rid of uh, cut uh, or uh, tw uh, guillotine on Tweedledee because I'm never clicking that move ever. Uh, um, so, no. Because I even have fusion. But, like, if I have, if, it, if Tweedledee is stuck on a flying type, then Tweedledee is getting taken touch fusion bolt like i'm not touching guillotine it is too unreliable and i do not like it uh that's also unfortunate but yeah like honestly it has been fun to see people's musical like what their tastes are and how inclined they are to their certain perspectives so i don't know 
do you guys enjoy that stuff? Like, learning what people, like, enjoy around you? I do. Because, it, like... <gasps> That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. That's a good Pokemon. Ah, uh, that's a very good Pokemon. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna poison thing it because th that should not kill. Yeah. Oh, I'm so flattered. Thank you. Uh, I'm so happy. It's a Hydreigon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Definitely top 10. Uh, Unova's been so kind. All I can say is thank you, Unova. It has Dark Void. I know it got debuffed, but do you think I care? Absolutely not. It's a Hydreigon. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that actually worked, but, you know, gotta give myself props on that. Okay. <laughs> oh. My. Hi, Dragon, please get, get, God. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Your name's Einstein, by the way. You have locked that in. <laughs> Yo, okay, hold on. I gotta make sure I spell it right because I'm gonna trigger myself if I don't. Einstein. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't need to know that. Oh my god, okay. That, that, that's a... <laughs> this episode is great. What a kill episode. Like, I'm way too chipper for a kill episode. Like, y'all are about to kill something. But I'm over here like, oh my god, it's so amazing. All these awesome fun things that are happening in today's episode. But... <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot the fact that there's an item there. <laughs> Hi, Sammy! We had you last episode! Oh, my lordy. <laughs> Sammy would just pop up. You were talking about this now? Oh, my god. If you guys did not get that song reference, I get that I'm old, but you really did not need to rub it in. Oh, wow. That's just... That was just too perfect. Like, that's a Hydra... A Hydreigon. Like, you do not just out of nowhere, like, catch a Hydreigon that quickly. Like, it just wanted to be named Einstein. It knew what I was singing. And it said, yes, please. Yes, we're doing this, and uh, yeah, keep it up. <laughs> and that, I, I actually do think that changes a lot. So I really hope you guys don't get to the end of the episode before voting, and just you guys have your assumption of who you want to kill. Like, it, it, like, unfortunately, now I'm like, if Troy dies, it happened. But it's a high drag on. Like, it, I, 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 it's a win win. Codename! Uh, I just took a, I had a look at the musical theater. It's so cool. You're here. Come on, code name. Oh no. Joy no. I, I I know I asked you what your favorite musical is, but no. No, Joy. Joy no. I why are we subjecting Dak onto this? Why did we subject Dak onto this? Poor Dakon. Dakon does not deserve this. Dakon does not deserve this treatment that we're giving him. No. Okay. This is. I gotta find a way to make this a bit super sweet between Joy and her dad. I don't know how to though. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mom told me that you'd made it all the way out here and that she was proud of you. 
Haven't you gone far enough? I want you back at the house. No, I want to continue my adventure. I'm going to keep traveling with the code name and my folk. Her dad wouldn't say that. This is going to be so cut up and it's going to be weird. Okay. Okay. I don't know enough. I'm out of my wheelhouse. Okay. Okay, Joy. Others do things their way. And we do things our way. Is that so? Then how are things your way? How about you do things your way? And I'll do I can't do a fight scene between the two of them. Because they're actually really strong. Like, they have a extremely strong bond that I love. Like, to be honest... I'd have to twist this entire scene. And instead of Bianca's dad or Joy's dad getting mad at Joy for following her dreams and doing her own thing, Joy it would be Joy's dad being supportive of her endeavors and wanting her to be like able to go her own way and do her own thing. Right? And like that's what good parents do. Like. They want what's best for us. Right? And. No matter if what best for us. Is best for them. They take that hit. They take that blow. And in them taking that blow and making that sacrifice to make your life better, we have to be thankful of that too, right? Because we don't, we are given such a life, um, and I guess a lot of people are given such a life where they do take things for granted granted and they don't see that um and see what people do for them um because they don't want to see it because then they see that they're the beneficiaries and most people like things to be equivalent a lot of people like things to be equal so especially our personality types. We want things to be equal. We want things to, like, be even out. So we'll do anything that we can possible to even it out and make sure that one doesn't feel like they've made the sacrifice that they truly, I mean, had to do to raise us. Like, you can't just magically not... Like, you had a kid. You That's the bunch... They, they already made, like, a bunch of years of sacrifice in doing such action right there also you don't find me cool anyways if i had to rewrite the whole thing um which of course i'd be rewriting it in the context of joy it would be like i said dad being supportive and being very like happy for his daughter pursuing her dreams and doing and making what she wants of it and like i said I'm proud of both both of them. Um, and I'm very happy that they have the bond of which they do. And like I said, it's, it's enviable. But also, it's just lovely. It is what, that's the best way to put it. Um, the way that they can coincide with each other and just It's a pretty solid, unbreakable bond. And in a weird... I'm sorry. Sorry for making people cry. Um, like I said, I'm just very happy. Um, I 
And, you know, we spent, like, a solid couple minutes praising the man. I don't know the man's name, so I just will call it Joy's dad. Because any interaction, like, that I have heard of in Call has been positive between the two of them. And, like I said, I really do appreciate everything that, even though we haven't gotten an opportunity to actually talk or, like, do anything. I just appreciate the opportunity that um, you have provided for your daughter and everything else. And, like, you raise an amazing, amazing, amazing daughter. I'm literally crying because my relationship with the Joy is that amazing. Like, the, the like, it's an amazing friendship that, like... I don't know. You wait before I cry before the end of the episode. Thank you for raising the daughter that you have. I appreciate her more than like a lot of people think. As I'm literally crying about it. Um, but yes, <laughs> let's go check on our Pokemon. Oh, you do fight me. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, but while, while while we go check on the Pokemon afterwards, because I literally. The waterworks are gonna be here. Um, what a what an episode. Okay. <sighs> Calming down because my heart rate's probably really high. Da 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 da. Okay. Ah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go check out our Pokemon because that's what we do on any kill episode because we got way too many encounters not to check. Um, and I haven't checked in a while, so I don't know what abilities anything has. The last time I checked a Pokemon was Empoleon, which is that that was long ago. Um, we've definitely gotten a few encounters since then. And yeah, so we'll do that while we end off the episode. If Joy's dad literally has Wonder Guard, I am going to freak. Because that is an ability that is well-deserved. Um, it is, like, one of the best abilities in the game, if not the best. I know your Fire Grass type is not really the, the best best. Uh, well, it really is still good, It's especially when we have coverage for the, the weaknesses. Um, okay. Somebody's PC. Nope. Wait, that'll work, actually. Okay, so we saw Hercules. Now we, I, I literally talk about Joy's dad and how amazing he is, and now we just have memories of my doggo. Like today's an episode. Okay, we have Mary Mega Drain Woodhammer Synthesis Grass Whistle with Oblivious. Oblivious to the fact that I'm crying. You have an armor fossil, which I think is the. One that we've already used, but we'll figure that out. Um, we have Red with Vital Spirit. Cannot be put to sleep. Silver Wind Sludge, Electro Ball, Giga Impact. That's not a bad moveset at all. Um, definitely a potential. Then we got Nick with Own Temple. You know, he decides what he wants to do. It makes sense. And we got Einstein with Motor Drive. So if it's hit with an electric type move, it can be speared up with Snatch, Dark Void, Dual Chop, and Flatter. And then we have Joyce Dad. Which, Joy's dad has Technician. Oh my god, that's really good. That is so good with the moveset, too. It actually works! Bullet Seed actually is so powerful now. Please tell me you have a positive attack nature. No, you have a neutral nature. What is what is your nature? Quirky. Oh my god, it's Joy's favorite word! This, <gasps> ah! <laughs> this, is, this has been an episode... And all I can say is that I love you all so very much. And I hope you all had a wonderful day. Let me know who you all are killing in the comments below. If this episode made you cry, don't worry. It made me cry too. It was literally 45 minutes. Definitely not supposed to be this long. It's going to be less than that for you guys because I'm going to do some editing. But I love you all. Keep up the amazing work you do every single day. Make sure you vote. Make sure you subscribe because like I said... I, I, I do put a lot of emotion and feelings and thoughts into these episodes. Um, clearly. And I love you all. 
Bye.